When Shaoling's sect became the strongest sect in the Heavenly Destiny continent, someone asked. Master Li, all of your disciples have become the strongest. Do you have any tips for cultivating disciples? I don't know, maybe they worked hard enough, Li Mu said honestly. But. That person's mind is confused, as far as he knows. First disciple Luo Qingxue was just a girl selling herself. Second disciple Fan Ying is just a destitute youth without cultivation. Third disciple Xiao Wu is also a well-known waste material from afar. Li Mu smiled mysteriously and looked at the group of disciples of the emperor below, unable to help but feel emotional. Who still remembers, he just wanted to mess it up. Chapter 1 The Little Girl on the Square You are listening at Novel Full Audio. De Ko Lois A R A Trong Qua Trin Lei Text Chapter 2 Luo Qingxue's Worship and Li Mu's Power You are listening at Novel Full Audio. De Ko Lois A R A Trong Qua Trin Lei Text Chapter 3 Extinguished the Wang family one month later. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. De Ko Lois A R A Trong Qua Trin Lei Text Chapter 4 Practice begins with chopping trees. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. De Ko Lois A R A Trong Qua Trin Lei Text Chapter 5 Poor Stress Resistance. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. De Ko Lois A R A Trong Qua Trin Lei Text Chapter 6 Luo Qingxue's Enlightenment You are listening at Novel Full Audio Drinking Roars kept coming from the forest and Luo Qingxue was seen holding a chopping stick, making a gesture of retracting the blade, staring at a sturdy tree in front of her. Draw a knife and chop. Luo Qingxue let out a loud shout, and the chopping stick in her hand was instantly pulled out, accurately cutting onto the tree. The wood chip splashed up, and the tree collapsed in response. However, Luo Qingxue was still dissatisfied. She frowned and looked at the rusty firewood cutter in her hand. What exactly should we do? Luo Qingxue was puzzled and couldn't figure it out. She chewed on what Li Mu said repeatedly, but after thinking for a long time, she couldn't come up with a reason. Suddenly, she saw the ring after ring of growth rings on the wooden stake, as well as the cuts she made with each cut. She paused for an instant and remained in place. If there were experts here, it would be obvious at a glance that Luo Qingxue had already fallen into an epiphany. This was a rare state for a cultivator in 10,000 years, and it was no less than a great opportunity. After a long time, Luo Qingxue finally opened her eyes. She felt that after drinking tea that day, her state had returned, and many previously unknown things now became very clear. The angle and force of each strike will create different marks, but the drawing and chopping that Master used that day, as well as the gaps in the fallen trees, were all smooth and uniform on the surface. This is the key. The Master of the Sword kills, but the sword is controlled by humans. The strong resentment in one's heart leads to a lack of character, which is why one cannot feel that artistic conception. Everything has spirituality, and so does the sword. Luo Qingxue remembers that day when Li Mu used his sword to strike and said this sentence. She just didn't realize it at the time, but now she finally understands that building a house is also for this reason, because it can hone her will and temper her character. At this moment, Luo Qingxue finally understood her master's good intentions. Luo Qingxue, who suddenly realized, picked up a chopping stick and came to a big tree. She didn't need to deliberately aim at it, but with a casual blow, a towering tree that was several tens of meters tall collapsed like this. She got up and walked to the next tree, repeating the previous action. One tree after another fell, each blow was just an instant, but it was as fast and precise as ever. As the last tree fell, Luo Qingxue finally withdrew from that state of enlightenment. She turned her eyes and unconsciously, the forest had become an empty space. The ground is covered with fallen trees, which means that during this period, 
Luo Qingxue has cut down all the trees in this forest, leaving no one behind. But that's not the point, the point is that she has already grasped the meaning of the sword and has also learned to draw and chop. I understand, I understand. Master, I finally understand. Luo Qingxue was very excited and wished to go to Li Mu's side and tell him the good news. In the room, Li Mu was looking hard when suddenly a sound came from the system. Ding, congratulations to the host, disciple Luo Qingxue has successfully understood the meaning of the sword and the art of drawing and chopping, and rewards the host with the great perfection of the meaning of the sword and the art of drawing and chopping. The next moment. Bang! Amazing sword intent surged into the sky, stirring up the wind and clouds, as if about to split through the sky, but it didn't last long before disappearing. Li Mu suddenly jumped up from the chair, looking incredulous. Did you really enlighten me as a senior disciple? When Li Mu first heard the system's evaluation of Luo Qingxue, he thought in his heart that Luo Qingxue had no talent for cultivation, so he had no hope at all. But to his surprise, Luo Qingxue gave him a big surprise. In fact, what Li Mu didn't know was that the tea given by the system also made great contributions. This tea is not garbage, but a wudao tea that can make people enter an enlightenment state. However, his talent is extremely poor and the effect is not obvious. The effect of this tea remained on Luo Qingxue, which led her to accidentally enter this magical state. My fate is determined by me, not by heaven. Li Mu thought of a very popular internet slang from his past life, which perfectly matched the current Luo Qingxue. He had originally planned to descend the mountain again, recruit another disciple to improve his cultivation, and seek revenge for Luo Qingxue, but now it seems that he no longer needs it. She can avenge this on her own. And he can mess it up again. Since the awakening of the system, he has fallen in love with the behavior of putting things on display, and the comfortable days have made him forget what he said in Qingqi City Square. There is no such thing as striving to cultivate. Li Mu lay back on the chair and continued to bury herself in studying. Not long after, Luo Qingxue ran in excitedly and shared her joy with Li Mu. Master, I have made it, I have practiced it. He is truly my disciple, with exceptional talent. The speed of his comprehension is even faster than I imagined. However, one must also guard against arrogance and impatience, and not be complacent. This is just a beginner's level. Li Mu put down the novel and said with a smile. Yes, master is right. I will definitely double my efforts. Luo Qingxue nodded in response, feeling full of motivation and drive. At this moment, a noisy sound suddenly sounded outside the door, as if someone was talking outside. Li Mu felt strange that no one would come here on weekdays. Outside the house. The two are talking loudly. Is that what the scout said here? A middle dot aged fat man pondered. Second brother, it's not wrong. This damn place is really off the beaten track. It took the scout three days to find it, and the man and the little girl were hiding inside. The man with a black patch on his face said confidently. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and go in and catch people, be careful not to let them run away. All right, second brother, let me smash his yard and see if they can still come out. The black spotted man, with a mischievous smile, pulled up his stone bow and fired a rocket with an arrow carrying fire. The arrow flew fast and was about to hit the wooden house, but in the next moment, an invisible sword shot out from inside the house, cutting the rocket in half. Li Mu walked out of the room with Luo Qingxue. The knife he just made was naturally his masterpiece. Although Luo Qingxue also understood the meaning of the knife, he had not yet reached the level of ease of use. Looking at the two men emitting malice, Li Mu knew with her toes that they were sent by the Wang family. The two elders of the Zhao family's swords and arrows. At this moment, Luo Qingxue recognized them and couldn't help but speak out. Xiaokinks, do you know them? Li Mu has little knowledge about Qingqi city, and is not as clear as Luo Qingxue, a local. Master, they are the second and third elders of the Zhao family. 
Zhao Jia and Zhao Yi both have the triple realm of practicing qi. What's important is that their Zhao family follows the orders of the Wang family. Luo Qingxue patiently explained to Li Mu. Humph, this girl has good eyesight. Since she knows it's us, she wouldn't surrender obediently, so she can still avoid the pain of flesh and skin. Zhao Jia said proudly. If I don't agree, what about you? Li Mu squinted her eyes and was thinking about how to deal with these two people. Then go die. Zhao Yi's eyes were full of fierceness, and his hands were extremely fast, shooting three arrows in a row. Live to see people, die to see corpses. They only need to bring two corpses back. The speed of the bow and arrow was very fast, like lightning pointing directly at Li Mu's head. Zhao Yi had already thought of his tragic situation after death, and a cruel smile couldn't help but appear on the corner of his mouth. But what he didn't expect was that Li Mu calmly raised his right arm and made a move to retract the knife, then tilted towards the air with a smooth and flowing set of movements. Ha <laughs> ha. Um. Just as Zhao Yi was about to mock Li Mu, a terrifying sword aura came in an instant, destroying three bows and arrows, and his laughter came to an abrupt end. Zhao Yi's eyes widened and he couldn't close his eyes when he died. Before his death, he still had a mocking expression on his face. On his body, a deep knife mark could be seen with the naked eye. If the force was stronger, his body would be divided in half. Such a terrifying blow made Luo Qingxue admire her deeply. Zhao Jia was completely dumbfounded. Chapter 7 Experience Package for Home Delivery You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Ko Lois Ara Trong Qua Trin Lei Text. Chapter 8 Lingyuan Cave. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Ko Lois Ara Trong Qua Trin Lei Text. Chapter 9 Yu Xing Shock. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Ko Lois Ara Trong Qua Trin Lei Text. Chapter 10 Troubled Youth. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Ko Lois Ara Trong Qua Trin Lei Text. 